Now that we've had a look at the main setup of how to export Revit elements and their class assignments, attributes, properties, quantities, classifications and layer assignments, let's have a look at the options within the Revit exporter. I'll go to File, Export, IFC. I've currently just been using the inbuilt IFC reference view architecture setup. However, if I go to modify setup, I can select this setup and I can create a new setup based on the selected setup. And this will allow me to edit the properties and settings within these tabs. So I will duplicate this setup and just call it custom. Just an additional note, inside the contents folder for the Revit 2022 IFC export tool, a link to where this is installed on my machine by default is in the description. In the resource folder, there is an exporter help.htm file, which when opened, provides additional information on the export settings available within the IFC exporter. But I'll be going through a number of these in the next few videos. In the general tab, I can specify the IFC version or the model view definition and the exchange requirements. I can select the file type I can select the phase that I wish to export. The default phase is the last phase in the project. The space boundaries are primarily used for energy analysis and are effectively the relationship between an IFC space and the bounding plane of a space, either a physical element such as a wall or a virtual boundary where no physical element exists, such as an external space or terrace. None will ensure the space boundaries are not exported. The first level space boundary is defined as the boundaries of the space not taking into account any change in building element or space on the other side. And the second level space boundary is defined as a boundary taking in any change in building element or space on the other side into account. The coordinate base allows me to choose between shared coordinates, survey point, project base point, or internal origin, and this should be used carefully when establishing the coordination rules for the project in conjunction with other consultants. The projected coordinate system reference can be specified additionally in here. The split walls, columns, and ducts by level if this were to be ticked, if walls were going through multiple levels, I could choose to split them at each building story. Where the elements are split is defined using the level above property we saw in an earlier video. Include steel elements will export steel connection elements if selected. The project address we've already looked at in a previous video. The file header information allows for additional information to be specified as part of the IFC header. Once completed and exported is visible in the IFC file header. In the additional content tab, there are options to export 2D plan view elements, which will export floor plans and room tags within the IFC for viewing. I can export linked files as separate IFCs, so any linked files in this particular model. And additionally, I can export only elements visible in the current view that is open. 
If selected, I can also choose to export rooms, areas and spaces from these 3D views. This option is most useful if you want to remove certain elements from the IFC, depending on how your model is set up and what information and geometry is required to be exported. For example, loose furniture may not be required for models to be used for clash detection, and you may wish to hide any placeholder structural elements that are present within this model. In the next video, we'll look at property sets.